sports are endless fun for kids and big kids at heart. More importantly, they have historical and cultural connections for people all over the world, including right here in Aotearoa. Māori kites are taonga tukuiho, precious gifts that are handed down by our ancestors. They are exceptionally rare. This is one of only seven traditional kites known worldwide. Māori kites are taonga and for us, the living descendants, they, uh, they connect us to um, the knowledge, customs and values of our ancestors. And so they, they provide really important links to our past, for us in the present, for the future. We've got two traditional kites here. We have a um, upoko tangata and a manu taratahi, and two of seven in the world. The traditional kites are made from really fragile, uh, light materials, of course, you know, so the kites can fly. So they may not have been able to survive, you know, in the long term in museum conditions. And also perhaps the collectors at the time were more focused on other kinds of taonga that were more permanent, such as meeting house carvings, cloaks and personal adornment made from stone and bone, those sorts of materials. There are 17 known types of Māori kite, but traditional examples of just three kinds have survived. Certain kites were made for children to play with, uh, and the um, larger kites were made for more ceremonial purposes, uh, used by tohunga or priests to foresee events and forecasts into the future. Yes, since the 1970s, there's been like a revival of Māori kite making and an and increasing awareness of just how special and important they are. In terms of um, Māori taonga and kites, for instance, um, you are going into the realm of our ancestors, back to Te Waone, Atani, you know, the natural world, from those natural materials, from Papatuanuku, you're creating something that um, can live. The physical records of Manu Tukutuku have faded out over time, but our knowledge of them is continuing to grow. So you could say, the sky's the limit 